G'day guys, Paul here from Reasonable Tables, Reasons Ward Limited. So this, uh, uh, this, uh, these three slabs here, I initially called it the doors coming, which is kind of, you know, the only thing I could think of about at midnight. Um, so the project name for this is Wellington Native Door. That's hashtag Wellington Native Door. And just to give you a rundown and just an update for my clients. So what we got here was we've got three stunning slabs of Swamp Remu. Absolutely stunning. This door is going to be 1500 wide. 1465 to 1500 wide. So let's just take that into perspective here. My table is 1500 wide. So options. I think that this slab through the middle absolutely stunning and should be the feature part. The only issue with this slab, uh, Tim if you just bump here mate, is that we had a bit of an accident and created this, which I really just don't really like. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is going from the centre point and coming out around here and just dishing it out. So it's going to be dished. All the grain will flow nice and evenly and the resin might just look a little bit thicker there and I think that is the best thing to do uh, because this really has to be the feature part. It's absolutely stunning. Cracking on. If we do it like this, let's just say that's the outside edge. Um, I could split the slab into two. Uh, that would give me one straight edge that side, one straight edge this side. But they'll only be about 150 millimeters in width each one because we all have these two as the center. The other option, and the other thing with that is, I don't like looking at it. It's one thing to, you know, price job and say, I think this amount of resin. But when you really start to look at it, it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, we've got to change the game plan a little bit. I think what we need to do is we need to have these rivers wider else it's going to look silly. So what I'm thinking is... Oh, oh I'm getting old. Um, what I'm thinking is we have at least a decent sized river in each one. We cut the slab straight down the guts. And then uh, we pull the slab out. So there's lots of ways of going here. So we could have these two slabs in the middle, cut that one down the guts, have 150 wide flat edge both sides, and still maintain a couple of decent sized rivers. Second option is we could just have it as you see it right now. Maybe the rope is not quite that rock wide. I think sort of around that wide uh, would be ideal. It's a lot more resin, but oh my god, stunning. So, options cut this slab in half. Basically, 150 mil that side, 150 mil this side, leading up to the uh, live edge, and then river, river. Other option is we, you know, work out the width of the rivers. We push these over, say, a little bit. We cut a straight line here, remove this live edge. And then we cut a straight line through here, remove this live edge, and that'll give us two straight edges, a lot more meat, a lot more wood meat, um, for the visual perspective, and then we have our black rubbers through the middle. So there's lots of options, guys. Uh, just choosing the right one. I mean, like, you know, this is a huge investment. Um, she's gonna, she's gonna weigh a bit, eh, mate? 
it's, it's heavy, heavy and big. So, you know, 1500 by 2.6, 2.7, that's a, that's a very serious door. Well, it's even a very serious table, to be honest. Um, and the weight-wise, I mean, like, I don't know, what do you think we're looking at per slab? Just at a guess, 60 know, to mate. 70. Oh, 60 to 70 for the outside ones? I'd say more than that, to be honest with you. I don't know. Hmm. You reckon more than 70 for the outside ones? Oh, no. Yeah, 70. Yeah, so let's say 70, 140. And I think the middle one's going to be close to 100. Yeah. That's 240. I've got allocated 100 kilos of resin so far. It's 340. But I think I'm actually going to go to closer to four. Um, uh, closer to the 200 of reason. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be between the three and four fifty, I guess, plus all the steel work that's got to go on to it. So anyway, guys, uh, and also just to my client, uh, uh, also just to my client, um, these are the options as I see it. I don't think. You want to have the rivers too tight. I mean, I've seen some of the pictures you sent me through, and yeah, I mean, like you know, you got you got some of the most amazing Rimu I think you'll ever find. I, I honestly, yeah, you just can't find this stuff. Um, and I think doing it justice would be to have, you know, some good negative space of. Um, uh, uh, where the black resin is going to go otherwise it's going to look too crammed up and jammed up we might as well just fill it and make it a big slab you know um, so I think yeah uh, just think about the negative space before you come down next week and um, and let's make a plan and get the starling done um, any other questions just give me a call uh, anytime from you know, six, seven in the morning through to midnight on a seven days a week. I'm available. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, Wellington Native Door Project. Wellington Native Door, hashtag Wellington Native Door. And we'll be doing some videos on that a little bit later on. Have a great day.